Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just real quick, this is just gonna be a short video. Um, we're on our way out to a meeting in Cameron, and I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, CVMA and kind of go a little more into what um, they did for me and my family recently when my dad passed, <clears throat> who was also a member. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you down the line. Of course, Moose is next to the food truck. Of course. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So we are heading over to Bucky's in my hometown to go meet up with the rest of my uh, CVMA chapter. Uh, we have a meeting tonight and we're going to go do a little ride uh, to head over there. So, But I wanted to take these uh, <clears throat> few minutes to kind of talk a little bit about you know, the organization and why I'm so uh, fortunate to be part of them. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I explained that I recently, uh, unexpectedly, uh, lost my father, who was also a uh, combat veteran and a member of the CVMA in Florida where they lived. Uh, when I got the phone call from my mother on May 19th, um, one of the first you know, few calls I made was to my CVMA uh, chapter commander. And I explained to him, hey man, listen, you know, this is what went down. Uh, I'm about to have to get on the road. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get any support from my mother. And instantly he's like, Roger, got it, working on it. Phone calls are made, contact was made with his uh, chapter and all their guys out there. And instantly, you know, the wheels started spinning, man. Uh, they, they started planning routes for me. My original plan was to ride my bike uh, to Florida. Uh, to pick up my father's remains, we had him cremated, and then to take him up to Massachusetts, where which is where we're originally from, uh, for his memorial service. <clears throat> and you know, something's changed. You know, my wife uh, decided that she was going to go for the ride up there, as well as my mother. So we had to trailer the bike, unfortunately. But just seeing the outpouring of support, you know, within 48 hours. I mean, within 48 hours, they were already working on route plans. Uh, meal training that helped support my mother. She was by herself in Florida. We had no family down there other than the CVMA family. And they were Johnny on the spot. Already making the phone calls, already setting things up. Uh, they, they were in contact with me twice a day. It just shows you how far uh, the CVMA goes for its members, you know. Uh, when I was in the military, it was like a second family to me. Uh, and leaving the military, the army in 2012, you know, it took me a while to find CVMA and uh, I'm glad I did because it is, it's just like being in a family. Uh, they will do anything it takes to help out another veteran, uh, financially, you know, emotionally, or maybe just, you know, even there, helping pack up a house and move you. Um, you know, this is not a you know a recruiting video, nothing like that. We don't do that kind of stuff. But I, I just don't think that people realize, you know, especially veterans. Once you leave the military, you feel like you just lost a piece of yourself. And, you know, there's organizations out there. You know, not just the CVMA. There's other veteran organizations out there. You know, look into it. Uh, you know, we have a lot of veterans that lose their lives every day to suicide, unfortunately, and. Uh, you know, I hate to feel that some of those guys, I think, just feel like they've lost their way or just, you know, don't have a meaning or a purpose anymore. You know, there's, there's organizations out there. Go go hook up with them, you know. Our, our main purpose, our main goal in CVMA is to help, you know, support support veterans. And that's what we're doing. And that's I, I got to experience that firsthand after losing my father. Um, just uh, the outpouring of support. Uh, if you're a veteran and you're out there and you just, you know, you feel lost 
reach out to other veterans look out for other organizations out there uh, there is hope there is guys out there there is family you know, just something to think about guys but uh I'll get off that soapbox. Uh, we're just about over to Bucky's over the hill there. You can see the, the sign. But uh, we'll get over there, meet up, and uh, get on with this ride. So we will see you down the line.
Well guys, that's going to be it for this ride. Uh, we have our meeting in here today, which you will not be attending. Uh, but uh, just a short little ride out here. Um, not much to see around this part of Texas, unfortunately. It's all dried up hot grasslands right now. But uh, we'll have some stuff coming up. So we're on some videos from the Florida trip. Those will be getting put in uh, every week. So until then, we will see you down the line.